welcome viewers in this video we'll uh, learn about uh, the steps that we have to follow for uh, drawing the isometric uh, drawing for the given uh, object so we have the orthographic projections available to us the first step is to uh, find out the dimensions of the box which will uh, just contain this particular uh, drawing so we note that so the length of the uh, object which is which will be visible in the front view as well as in the top view that uh, length is a four grid space similar way the height also is four grid space and uh, about the depth the uh, depth is five grid spaces so depth is visible in the side view as well as in the top view that is five grid space so we have uh, the uh, left side view available here so the box will be drawn such that we have uh, uh, front side and the left side uh, box is available to us so so first of all uh, we will uh, make a box in yellow color i'll change the line color to yellow and uh, i'll draw the box quickly so that box uh, uh, but before that snap has to be in the snap style has to be changed to isometric so that I am changing and then I will make the box so 1, 2, 3, 4 and the height is also 4 as I mentioned earlier and about uh, the depth depth is 5 space here this is regarding the side view this one this particular parallelogram will contain the or represents the side view the initial scare kind of figure that represents the uh, front view and this side represents the top view now uh, again changing the color of the line back to the y block and drawing whatever is shown here so we note that in the front view we have uh, one triangle available so corresponding to that uh, this right angled triangle contained by this uh, these three lines so where the cursor is lying so corresponding to that we have uh, the uh, matching line in the side view and matching line in the top view so we can consider due to this reason uh, this as a principal surface so principal surface of the dimensions so I can draw so this principal surface uh, it it may be there now the next thing you see is uh, this uh, triangle and this triangle these two triangles appear to be similar and uh, you note that corresponding to both the triangles corresponding to this triangle we have the inclined line matching here and this inclined line also matches with the side view of the triangle here so we can consider due to this reason that the triangle here is uh, uh, an inclined surface with this edge or, or this edge at the extreme extreme length so here so we can say this is the edge which we were talking about this particular edge lies here but about the other edge the other edge is the bottom one that edge so it uh, it it starts with the, the end point this end point it uh, uh, finishes with the, the end point of the uh, End point here, the uh, end point of the principal surface here. So you you can note this particular edge. This particular edge is here. So here, uh, basically, it travels across the whole of the depth, and then it moves along the length by two spaces. So it travels along the along the length, and then change the 
uh, travels along the rep and uh, changes the length this way. Similar way the other edge, this edge, this edge also travels along the depth and then uh, this also travels along the uh, length but please note unless unlike the previous uh, edge which moved only along the depth and along the length here it also this uh, upper one also moves along the uh, height so by two grid spaces so that is how you will count so from here it reaches extreme uh, depth and it moves by two grid spaces along the uh, length and then two grid space the depth has to decrease this is how you will complete the inclined surface here now the next uh, thing you can uh, look for is uh, uh, another uh, triangle here and corresponding to that we have another triangle here and corresponding to both of these triangles we see one inclined line so from that uh, um, we can consider it's an inclined surface and uh, in the inclined surface you note uh, the location of uh, this edge half of this edge basically here up to this point where the cursor lies so that edge is at the extreme height and at the extreme depth so two grid space so that edge lies somewhere here so that is easy to determine from the front view and from the top view now what about this edge and this edge so this edge and this edge so uh, if you talk about this edge this edge uh, we move by two grid spaces along the height we move by uh, we move along the depth completely two grid space height is decreased and uh, its length remains the same so along the edge so that is how we move so from this point we start we move uh, in the entire depth and then we reduce the height by 2 and this way we complete uh, this edge now about the other edge so in the other edge again the same movement it is along the whole of the depth and along the height also it reduced by 2 but in addition to moving along the height and the depth you have a movement along the uh, length direction as well so that has to be uh, shown here so move along this edge uh, move along the depth completely so you reach the other uh, side along the depth direction and you move along the uh, length now move along the depth as in the previous case so move along the depth i already finished move along the height so height i re reduced by 2 and now move along the length change so I reach the required point so this is uh, how uh, all the uh, inclined surfaces and the principal surfaces which are visible so they will take the shape now you look at uh, the last surface which is the uh, four sided figure this four sided figure uh, you note this edge is the same as the edge of the principal surface which is already available to us now another edge this one it is also the edge which is available from the previous inclined surface another edge again is available from the uh, from the uh, inclined surface and uh, we need only this edge so along this edge you know so we have reduced the height by 2 and we move along the length so and along the depth we don't move so along the length we move 2 and along the height we reduce the height by 2 and that is how we complete the last surface and this way our drawing is completed thank you